In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make proxies in Premiere Pro, and this is gonna speed up your editing process significantly. It's gonna allow you to edit more smoothly those 10K or 4K resolution videos, regardless of how fast or how slow your computer is. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. First thing I'm gonna do, like any project, is just drag my clips down into Premiere Pro. And once they've all been imported, I want to make sure that they're all selected. And this is just a personal preference, but I go to modify, interpret footage, and then I want to change them all to 23.976 frames per second. And this is important to note for later on. But then what I'm going to do is make sure that they are all selected. And I'm going to go down to proxy, create proxies. And I want to make sure the format is set to quick time and then preset is going to be set to Cineform Low Resolution Proxy. Then down here at Destination, you have two different options. You can select to have it saved next to the original media in a proxy folder, or you can choose a specific file location. What I usually like to do is go to Browse, and then I'll go to my project folder, and then I'll click on the video folder, and then I'll create a new folder and name it Proxies, and then just click Create, and then click on that proxy folder and click Select Folder. That way there's no confusion inside of Premiere Pro, and then I just click OK. And then what that's going to do is it's going to open up Media Encoder. Once Media Encoder has been opened up, what I want you to do is hit this red stop button right here and just click no. And then what that does is that stops everything. So if you change your frame rates, this is the only way to keep your frame rates from being messed up whenever the proxies are created. So what I want you to do is just select all these. If you change your frame rate, click on interpret footage, and then it's gonna bring up this window, select this, and then type in 23.976, and then just press okay. This tells Media Encoder that you want your proxies to be exported at 24 frames per second as well. If not, it will export it out at the original frame rate of the original video. This can be a huge issue because some people go entire edits and then they don't realize that their proxies were the wrong frame rate and they have to completely re-edit their project. But once that's done, all you're gonna do is go up here to this green play button and then it's going to start exporting all your proxies. Depending on how many clips you have to render, this can take a while, but it is gonna save you so much time in the long run. Proxies will allow you to edit faster by allowing you to edit your high quality videos at a lower resolution throughout your timeline. And if you have a really slow computer, this could make all the difference because some high quality footage can overload your computer and really bog it down. So by editing with proxies, you can drop that resolution. When you go to export, you don't have to do anything special. You just hit the export button and the video will be rendered at that original quality. So once Media Encoder is finished exporting all of your proxies, you can go back over to Premiere Pro and then select all your clips and just drag them onto the timeline. And if you don't already have this toggle proxies button here, you can just go over here to this little plus icon, click on it, and then just drag this toggle proxies button down to this portion and just press OK. Then you'll be able to toggle proxies on and off. So you can see that I have my video at full resolution. My proxies are not selected. And when I play it back, my MacBook Pro actually does a pretty good job of playing the footage back. But if I pause it and then I toggle the proxies on, and go to a different portion, you can actually see it does a really, really good job of ensuring that the playback is very, very smooth. And this is because it's being played back at a lower resolution. And playing back at this lower resolution helps speed up my editing process no matter how slow or how fast my computer is. And all I have to do is untoggle these proxies when I'm ready to export. And then I'll just export like normal and it doesn't matter. Nothing changes. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.